Hey everyone, welcome. Today we'll be looking at Wii Video, but not maybe in the way you're used to. What we want to look at today is how to maximize the hardware that you have to get the most out of Wii Video. For example, right now I'm recording on a Chromebook. It's sitting on a box on my lap and I'm just sitting in my basement at home. And so right now the video is okay. But what if you have students who are recording from across the room, or maybe you have two or three students who want to be in the same video? <clears throat> what can we do to maximize the hardware that we have, maybe with a couple of small additions or add-ons that would really effectively make your uh, video better? Right now, for example, because I'm sitting in my basement at home, I just have overhead cam lights. And you can see that I'm getting a lot of glare overhead, so I might be wise to cover one of those lights, for example, or use a reflector to fill in the front lighting so that you can see me better. You can see this is just a white piece of paper, but I get a little bit of reflection off that that fills in my face a little bit better, where if it's not there, I'm kind of dark. You can see the difference just from with and without that I do get a little better lighting by playing with this white reflector. You could have a student hold up a white poster board to kind of help your overhead classroom lighting to be more efficient for the people on camera. Okay, we'll do a couple of small modifications in the next video clip and see if we can improve the video we have. All right, for this next segment, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm using an external microphone. So it might sound a little bit different. Hopefully you don't have to put on headphones to notice a difference, but this might be useful in the event that you've got students from across the room and the small microphone attached to the top of your built-in monitor or screen is not gonna be able to pick up your students very effectively. So having a microphone, an external mic on some kind of cable that you can plug into the USB port could improve the audio quality substantially. Uh, another issue with this, there is some cost. You could easily spend a couple of hundred or even a thousand dollars on an external microphone. But I don't think for our purposes in school that you're going to need a super high quality professional grade microphone just for recording students in class. However, uh, my microphone here is about $50. I think it was well worth the investment as I'll show you later in another uh, segment of this clip. Okay, let's try another enhancement in a moment and see how this goes. All right, here's our next uh, modification. So this time for this section of the video, I'm also adding an external webcam. So this is one that uh, plugs into the USB port. Um, can't really show you what it looks like right now. It's a Logitech brand. They're around in the schools, very common. I think you could easily add one. And you might be asking yourselves, well, why would I wanna do that? The Chromebook already has built-in video recording capabilities. I've got a microphone. I have a camera. What do I need these extra things for? You may not. However, in the event that you're, for example, performing a news broadcast in your class or some similar activity, you may need the Chromebook to be distant from the speakers, which means you might need the camera to be closer than the Chromebook is and the microphone to be closer than the Chromebook is. And so with that said, you could set up your uh, webcam on a tripod and be able to pick them up a little bit more effectively that way. And then adding the external mic, the Chromebook could be distant while someone is managing the setup. You've got some uh, producers who are running the situation and this way your camera could be closer to your talent, so to speak, along with that microphone. So you can tell obviously that this is substantially closer. I'm much more zoomed in from here. And so uh, this will give you a little better look at the quality of the camera as opposed to the fact that it's just built into your monitor. Um, let's set it up just a little differently for the next clip. All right, you can see now that I've reframed everything. I've moved the Chromebook across the room and I'm just speaking to you with no enhancements at all using the standard built-in Chromebook camera and a little teeny microphone that's attached to the screen of the Chromebook. And hopefully you can hear a difference now in the audio. So if you were planning to film a small group or uh, some presenters in your class, you can see that this is probably not the most effective way to do it. You can also hear a huge difference 
in the fact that I am kind of far away from the Chromebook right now. So in our next setup, we'll move back to the external microphone and have it situated closer while still using the Chromebook's camera. Let's see how that goes. All right, here we are now, set up again from the same location with the Chromebook situated across the room. This time I have this small uh, microphone nearby. And so again, if you're recording a small group, for example, news broadcast, uh, something for the parents, maybe you're recording for your students. Hopefully you can hear the difference, <coughs> excuse me, between the small microphone that's built into the Chromebook compared to this external microphone that instead of being 10 feet away is now two and a half feet away. Um, I think you'll see a difference in the audio quality from this point. Now in our next setup, we'll stay with the Chromebook across the room, but add that Logitech webcam and see if we see a difference in the video quality and the audio quality at that point. Okay, see you in a couple of seconds. Okay, for our last installment of the video, we now have Chromebook situated across the room attached to the Logitech webcam, also including our external microphone. And my furnace is running right now so you might be able to hear some noise in the background. However, I think you can see that there's a great opportunity here to have a decent quality video from across the room with this uh, webcam attached. But then the audio isn't bad because our microphone is sitting close to where I'm speaking from. And I think this is a great way to enhance your experience with WeVideo, even though we haven't really talked about video editing at all in this short video clip. Another thing to think about is right now I have very harsh overhead lighting. So another feature you might want to add would be a small and expensive LED ring light that you could situate off camera to light the face of your talent again uh, to help them be a little bit more visually pleasing, obviously not so visually pleasing right here. Okay, thanks for joining us for this uh, little video overview of how to enhance your Chromebook's video capabilities as you decide to film more and more interesting things with your students. Meanwhile, have a great day.